Hello everybody, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with another model review today. This time I will be reviewing the beautiful um, Dragon Wings Northwest 727-200 in the Silver Bullet livery. Alright guys, I have some special guests with me today. First time in probably three or four months. Uh, first up we have Skyly Gamboa. Please say hello. Hello. Next, we have Aviation Calgary. Please say hello. Hello, everyone. Next, we have myself. Uh, hello. And then we have Delta MD88 fan, my very first subscriber, and I hope uh, you subscribe to him as well, just like everybody else. Uh, please say hello. Hello, everybody. All right, guys. I'm going to mute them. That way they can talk amongst themselves. All right, guys. As usual, I get started with the box, so let's move the aircraft over to the side. So, Dragon Wings has, uh, uh, what do you call it, a different box. You have Boeing 727-251, which was the Boeing Advanced, rather, which was the Boeing customer code for Northwest, Northwest Transitional Livery, uh, sort of. 1-400 Premier Collection Vintage Livery. Alright. I'm not exactly sure what makes it transitional except for uh, probably the N on the tail because it looks almost exactly like um, well, anyway I don't really know what I'm saying there. Sorry guys. Alright, so you have the aircraft, a picture, actual picture and then uh, credits for the photographer. And then if you go to the first panel, you have Boeing 727-251, Dragon Wings Special Version Premier Collection, item number 55288. And then you have information about Dragon Wings. This was a 2001 model. All right, this is the same as the opposite side. And then this is, uh, you have the barcode and then collector's model, not suitable for children under 14 years of age in six different languages. And uh, that's really about it, guys. Uh, these do come with a stand. And when I show you the bottom of the aircraft, you will notice that it probably only this stand will fit this aircraft so all right guys so let's get started here and we'll zoom in to the cockpit windows all right so if you look all right there's your nose cone there's not really anything special about it okay you have windshield wipers the cockpit windows do look actually really cool a little bit more detailed maybe than some of the other model makers. There's your eyebrow windows, customary of Boeing aircraft of the day. All right, so let's turn the model around to the side. All right, 2253, which is um, part of the registration. And also probably, I believe that might be the line number. Uh, so you have the L1 boarding door. You have Northwest right here. If it will focus for me, that is the Northwest KLM. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, Northwest KLM Alliance uh, insignia. Northwest and KLM were extremely close. Um way 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 back they were basically the first really really close partnership um anyway and then probably american and canadian but that's for another story all right come down here uh you got the two overwing exit doors there is your egress arrows as well as the um the white um well Anyway, the arrows and then your your two emergency exit doors. You have your landing light, which is right there in the corner of the wing. 
come down here and you really don't have the red navigation light oh bright bright all right so let's go down here your registration in 253 us all right there's your rear door for catering um your rear mounted engines there's the side and then the top beautiful red tail with the n logo there up at the top with the arrow pointing to the northwest all right so let's turn the aircraft around to the other side never mind the glare all right you have your forward uh, baggage compartment door and then you have your rear baggage compartment door okay you have the beautiful red tail with the N insignia um, I'm not sure what that red spot right there on the egress arrows is, but the the arrow does go around it as to where it wants you to evacuate. Uh, there's quite a bit of detail on the wing considering it's a 2001 Dragon Wings aircraft. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Dragon Wings. I wouldn't collect them if I didn't like them. All right, so let's turn the aircraft over. Um... On the underside, you got your main gear door or your nose gear doors. There's the actual two side doors, the landing gear itself. Very, very shiny metal, uh, chrome actually. All right, there's your wing, your two wing pieces. One on each goes into each side. There's your stand hole. The uh, round hole, uh, stand would not go into that hole, I'm pretty sure. Um, down here are your rear stairs. And then uh, there is your APU exhaust. Hmm, excuse me. So, anyways, guys, actually, you know what? That's an engine exhaust. That's not the APU. Um... Anyway, sorry. All right, so there's the underside wing detail and then your horizontal stabilizers. There's actually, like I said, there's quite a bit of detail on this, which is really nice. Uh, nice to see in a Dragon Wings model. Like I said, uh, Aero Classics has stepped up their game dramatically over the last year or two. And Dragon Wings really aren't that bad. Uh, they get a bad rap because, you know, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, guys. The glare. They get a bad rap because of the plastic wings. But, you know, in all honesty, it's really not that bad. All right, guys. This is not... Let me give it something else. Wow. Okay. So let me go ahead and try to end this because this thing is glaring bad. Hardcore. All right. It stopped. Okay. Okay. Anyways, guys, uh, please feel free to subscribe to uh, my special guests. Uh, a couple of them have never appeared in one of my videos before, so thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, uh, there will be a special video coming up soon, guys, so uh, please stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.